Okay, welcome to this tutorial on installing a gyro into your Freewing uh, F15. Uh, so the first th thing you're probably wondering is where does a gyro go? So this is a bit of a mess and you'll see why in a minute, but there isn't a whole lot of room up here. And um, even if you wanted to install a gyro, some people would install one uh, right up here. You really want to install it on the center of gravity of the plane, which happens to be back in this space. So. It so happens they designed in a space for a gyro, and it is under the air brake. It is right here. You can mount one right there, uh, facing forward into that slot. Um, so I am going to be using the Hobby Eagle A3L, um, which fits very nicely in there. I'll show you in a minute. Um, now there is one trick uh, to choosing your gyro. When selecting your gyro, you probably want to look for one that can be mounted with the pins forward. Um, and just for ease, because if otherwise if you're going to mount the pins backward, all the wiring would be coming out here, could interfere with the air brake. Uh, you could probably make it work, um, but I went with an easier solution, which is finding a gyro that could be mounted with the pins forward. Uh, in this case, the A3L can be mounted either way, uh, pins forward or pins backward. Uh, some of the other Hobby Eagle uh, gyros can only be mounted uh, in one direction and um, it's actually usually with the pins backward. And so I, I made that mistake and had to return one. Uh, so just something to look into uh, when purchasing your gyro. So even though the gyro isn't installed yet, let's take a look at the wiring and make sure uh, everything is working. So. Oh, one other thing I should note is, there, it's all powered up. In terms of uh, powering, I used a Y connector right here to connect the BEC and uh, the line uh, to the um, mode selector on the gyro as an input to my receiver. So that's how I power both the receiver and the gyro uh, off of the BEC, um, simple Y connector. Okay. Um, so this guy is up and running. And um, right now you can see there's no LEDs on it, which is because I have it set um, in my transmitter um, to be off. So I have this three position switch uh, set to control it. And so if I flip down, this goes to blue, um, which is standard uh, normal uh, stabilization mode, off. And then this is 3D mode. Um, and so when you can see, I'll just show you in 3D mode. If I were to rotate it this way, what you're going to see is that going up, the left arrow line going up, and the right one going down, just as we want. Similarly, if I were to rotate the other way, you can see the movement there. And uh, if I switch it, see now it's off, doesn't do anything. Uh, but the transmitter controls still work. And then if I switch it to normal mode, it's working. So we'll get this installed and uh, show you what it looks like when it's uh, in place and functional. So in terms of wiring, um, and, and the reason for this mess is you need to connect the gyro to your receiver and then uh, the gyro uh, goes out to your servos. So in the case of the A3L, uh, uh, these output connectors uh, go to your rudder, aileron, and um, elevator directly. So you'll hook those in. Uh, the instructions will tell you which of the out one, two, or three map accordingly. And then, so the, these go to your servos directly. And then uh, these are inputs from your receiver uh, for rudder, elevator, and aileron. Uh, the throttle does not connect to the gyro. The throttle can stay directly connected to your receiver. Uh, same with flaps, um, air brake, et, et cetera. And then you probably want to run another channel from your receiver onto this mod connector, and that allows you to control the gyro's mode from a switch on your transmitter. Uh, so here you can see I have these. So here my aileron is 
running directly uh, to my receiver and the same with the elevator and the rudder and so you probably want these are a uh, 10 inch uh, extension cables because they are going to, this is going to fit up under here and you're going to want some space to run the cables uh, either down the side or on the bottom and, and the reason this is a mess is to make things easier while installing it and getting the cables in the right place I actually removed uh, the battery tray and kind of opened up all the cables running underneath it uh, just to get everything out and uh, make sure um, that they were connected correctly and then I'll go put everything back in and get it nice and neat. Gyro is all installed and ready to go. Uh, just to show you here, um, the battery uh, tray is back in place, all the wires are underneath and it has been installed back up behind the air brake like I mentioned so we'll take a look. And there it is. And so we'll take this out and give it a try soon. Hope that helps.